Klopp talks about triumph, fantastic result. We deserve to W in. Mohamed Salah scored decisively midway through the second half to secure all three points for the Reds, after Luis Diaz's volley cancelled out a second-minute goal from Danny Welbeck. Clark's side therefore kept their quest for the Premier League title going on a day when the other two main contenders, Manchester City and Arsenal, faced off at the Etihad Stadium. Read all the words from the coach's post-game press conference below. To BBC MOTD, I would love not to be 1-0 down, I would love to be 4 or 5-0, but it was the best we played against Azabiz Brighton. Playing wisely was really good, defending wisely, yes, it was always a struggle, but there were games against Brighton, we were never close, but this time we were calm. This is the first of the last 10, let's keep going. Second goal play, that's an unbelievable ball from Dominic Sabozlai. It's the creativity and the quality, seeing that. He sees Maka, his first touch is incredible and then he sees Mo. How we wasted everything in the other moments was it's good to have this brilliant football moment to end the game. Brighton have incredible quality. That's my measure of how good we were today, because I really respect them. They had chances, they suddenly took more risks and we got a bit tired. We deserve to win the game. That's what you want. And besides, it's really cool. On whether he will watch a game between Manchester City and Arsenal, we have a stand and I'm going to watch a little because the traffic is now heavy getting out of the stadium. We just have to win our games and see where we end up. About the importance of previous experience in the race for the title that the members of their squad have in games in which the team needs to overcome adversity. I love today's weather. When I talk about being nervous as a whole, we were more nervous years ago. So it was more or less like this, when we were winning 1-0 and before we scored the second or third, no one could calm down a bit in the stands. It was a long time ago, but it's something we had to develop together and I loved the audience's reaction today, people were really into the game and I love that, I really do. So as a unit we have to get over it and decide whether we like it or not, basically. It will be difficult and yes, sometimes it is stressful and the heart rate will be at 180 or 200 or whatever every now and then if you watch or play. But if we all take advantage of this together, then we have a chance. If we don't, we still have a chance, but it will be much more difficult and that's why we try to stay positive at all these times. It's a great situation where the boys brought us, we're there. I don't even know exactly how many points were scored, but three more, today. So, we're there with two more teams fighting for the biggest prize in English football and we'll see how it ends. But I decided that I'm really going to make an effort to enjoy it. On whether any of Liverpool's injured players will be back for Thursday's game against Sheffield United. Full coaching is Curtis Jones. So, he already trained with us yesterday, but then he had an extra shift because the day minus one session doesn't have the intensity that Curtis needed, so he was with us and then he had an extra shift. He will be in full training. What exactly does this mean for the game? Let me take a look at this. No one else will return. The others, slowly but surely, recovering, but not yet. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and don't miss the next videos.